Today I'm going to show you this really quick, easy, glittery eye makeup. I learned it on a Donnie Davy video and it doesn't take very long at all. It's really easy. I hope you enjoy. As always, everything I've used is listed in the description of the video. So if you tap to expand the caption, a full list of products will come up. But by all means, feel free to substitute these steps with whatever you've already got in your makeup bag. The great thing about this makeup is that it's not gonna drop down. So I can do my base knowing that nothing's gonna spill and then work around it and add the pops of color. So I prepped with some Tolarian Sensitive Cream from La Roche-Posay about five minutes ago to give it a little chance to settle in. And then I'm gonna carry on with some original CC cream from It Cosmetics in the shade Light Medium. Um, if you're someone actually that finds that your makeup can um, drop down if you're doing a smokier eye or something like that I think you'll love this makeup because you start mapping your smoky eye out with a creamy liner and then you add glitter that's in a creamy consistency so that's not going to spill so you have a lot more um, control of where everything is going now the brush I'm using today I really like this it's the Jones Road I think it's called the everything brush but one thing I will say is that because the brush bristles are quite densely packed, it helps you to buff your product in really, really well. Now, if you like a really, really blended finish, you're going to love this. Or it's great for things like um, stippling on bronzer and blusher and making them look really even. But for me, with the CC cream, I'm trying to build coverage so I'm using a really, really soft touch with this because if you use too much pressure, you can kind of buff away the coverage before you've had a chance to build it. And I'm just taking what's left across the eyes. Um, more often than not, I don't really tend to use a separate concealer. I just stipple a little bit of whatever is on my base across the eye area. Now, I'm gonna let that dry down for a little second before I apply my powder. And I'm just gonna add a little wash of like a soft brown through my brows. Um, I'm actually kind of growing them out at the moment. So they're quite, there's kind of regrowth underneath and it's not very consistent because I usually tweeze them every so often. Um, so I find that using a brow pencil with a larger head, this is the It Cosmetics Brow Power, but in the full version, it just means that it kind of helps you to disguise the fact that everything has got a little bit bigger. Okay then, now I'm gonna set this into place with some translucent powder. And I wouldn't usually put it all over, but I'm gonna use a powder bronzer on top of this. Um, so I want a nice velvety wash everywhere so that when I put my bronzer on, it's not kind of clinging to any areas of moisture. But I don't wanna go OTT, I like that it's semi-glowy. Now, this powder bronzer is from Peaches and Cream. It's less than £10. I think it's about 7 I will double check that for you. Um, but really, really lovely to just give a bit of a healthy wash to the skin. They also have cream contours that are beautiful. Um, you can't go wrong with anything from Peaches, to be honest with you. One of my best friends the other day did a Peaches order and she texted me and showed me what she'd got. And um, I feel like we all have a friend that's always saying, you should try this, it'd be really good. And you kind of never get round to it. And then when you do, you be like, you want to tell them, oh my gosh, that was actually lovely. And that's what she was saying to me the other day. So uh, if you haven't tried anything from Peaches, you really can't go wrong. Now that already feels a little bit fresher, a tiny bit more sun-kissed. That's exactly the kind of thing I was going for, but still with the redness coverage. Um, I'm gonna do my lips first and then we'll come back to the eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Half Magic Sculpted Tube Liner. This has like a softer peach, almost like the color of this jumper and more of a caramel brown. So I'm gonna use the two colors together. So I'm starting with Ballerino, the lightest shade, and I'm gonna use that all over the lip. Add a tiny bit of hot potato just to sculpt the edges a bit more. 
Now then, I'm using the tail end of Peaches and Cream Liner in Sphinx. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video. Basically, this makeup is a recreation of something Donnie Davey put on TikTok the other day. Donnie is the co-founder of a makeup brand, Half Magic, the one that I just used the lip liner of. She's also the department head and makeup lead of Euphoria. And she's been doing these videos on TikTok recently, which are just two minute, like pops of colour, lovely all kinds of different things but she did this one that was kind of I felt like for someone that is wanting to dip a toe into glitter and wants it to be wearable and not too intimidating it's absolutely perfect and it was so easy so this was the closest that I had with my colours to being able to recreate it. Okay so I'm starting with Sphinx Eyeliner from Peaches and Cream and what I'm going to do is map out a little wing and these are really creamy and you have a little bit of time to blend them out before they set. So what I'm going to do once I'm happy with this shape is buff this out into more of a smudgy liner finish. So just using a little pencil brush. I don't want to completely lose the shape. I just want to soften the edge. Now that that's nice and smudgy, I just want to go back along the lash line and retrace the steps and do it again so that we get this lovely blend of a lot of definition near the lash line that kind of softens out into a little smokiness thing. And let's do the same on this side. I just wanted to say here, it's very rare that I will pull the eye in this way when I'm doing a liner, but because this is creamy, um, I need to do it to get the liner really pigmented rather than necessarily for the shape. And whatever your eye shape, you can just adjust where your wings sit to feel flattering to you and to give you that kicked out effect. And then I can see that the other side is a tiny bit lower, so I can correct that and even them out a little bit as I blend. Now, once I'm fully blended, I'm retracing this lash line just one more time to make sure that there's no gaps. And now I'm going to take the same colour underneath and buff that out too. And I'm just joining the underneath to that flick to make everything come together. You'll notice as well, I'm doing one little bit at a time with this eyeliner because by the time you've applied it, you kind of have to blend it out nice and quickly, otherwise it will dry. So if I did the two sides at the same time, one of them would have dried by the time I got around to the other one. Now it's up to you, you could intensify it by lining that waterline, but I actually think it looks quite nice clean. Now I'm really happy with that and I'm going to add some glitter to it as well, but before I do, I'm going to kind of future proof this whole makeup. So if you find that you're prone to liner smudging or transferring, adding another layer of something velvety or powdery can help to kind of control that moisture and prevent that from happening. So I'm going to use one of the light traps from Half Magic Beauty. Let me double check the name. This is Enter the Glow. And what I'm going to do with a fluffy brush is literally just buff a layer of this pretty much all over the lid. Now, to be honest with you, even though this looks like a really large surface area, it actually kind of all comes together. It's just this lovely luminous powder that catches the light. It actually helps to give the illusion of a softer blend along the edge of that brown, but it also means that your liner is much less likely to print or smudge because you have this extra layer of kind of insulation if you like and now just wait I'm going to use a little bit of the glitter pill in mini please this is also from half magic and this is a lovely uh, liquid glitter so that you can just add this to add a little bit of like an iridescent sparkle 
but because it's in this liquid form, it's not going to drop all over your face. It's so subtle, but how pretty is that? Let's do the other side. I'm going to do the underneath as well. I mean, that is so cute, isn't it? I actually didn't do the underneath the other day. I kept the underneath clean. Well, it had the brown under it, but not the glitter. Already love that. And then do you know something? I'm just going to do another layer towards the outer corners. And the nice thing with this is you still get the benefit of those wings that we made earlier. If anything, if they weren't 100% perfect, one of the best things you'll ever do for a makeup that isn't totally symmetrical, I'm sure you can hear that, I've got the windows open because it's melting, is um, put some glitter over it and it will help to just diffuse the edge. Now I'm gonna use some mascara just on these upper lashes so that you can still see um, all of the glitter here underneath. Listen, there's a wasp or something in here and he's been in here for a few minutes and I have to go in a minute, so we're gonna have to just let him live with us while we finish off. I'm just gonna finish now with a bit of a peachy lip to make that part just feel a tiny bit more polished. And then I was just looking, thinking, why does it look different from the other day? I want to finish with some of my light trap just through the cheeks. I feel like the whole beauty of this is that it's quite soft and glowy. So let's really ham that up all over the cheeks. He seems to have stopped buzzing for just a second. So there is the finished look. So quick and easy. And again, even though I showed you those things, you could recreate that with any glitters that you've got, any creamy liner. Um, but next time you're going somewhere, give it a go and let me know how it feels. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you'd like to see a video on. And I'll chat to you soon. Take care.